welcome to this new course of this microsoft power bi data analyst so have you ever thought means how we can uh, become a data analyst what are the things which we need as a part of a data analyst role means there are uh, which technologies we should learn which technologies uh, which are, which are the skill sets we need and as a part of the data analyst role means we can consider uh, we can become a power bi data analyst and in this course i am going to teach you from the basic of the power bi uh, to the advanced topics as well and we'll be covering end to end all the topics related to the power bi initially we will see means how we can uh, start uh, from the basic concepts of the data analyst and then we'll uh, take it forward with the power bi tool and then uh, some of the other advanced concepts about the power bi now uh, what you will achieve after this course means uh, when we say power bi data analyst by end of this course we will be ready to appear for the microsoft certified uh, power bi data analyst uh, data analyst certifications now what i'm uh, meant to say like this is the certification which we can uh, be ready to appear means microsoft certified uh, power bi data analyst associate that's what means by end of this course uh, we can achieve and we uh, will be uh, preparing uh, this course or we are learning uh, Uh, this power bi course uh, from the perspective of this certifications only so that this is what we are going to uh, learn now i am going to tell you about what are the course content uh, which we are going to uh, cover uh, in this uh, complete uh, course before uh, going to that let's try to understand means what would be the data analyst journey means what are the topics which we are going to cover or what are the sections which we are going to cover now uh, the very first uh, like before uh, like learning power bi tool means before doing any hands on or before starting any practice on power bi we will try to understand a data analyst concept uh, what is data analysis uh, then who is the data analyst what is the role of the data analyst what type of tools which you need, we needed for data analysis and some of the basic concepts about the power bi from where we can start that we will see in the first section which is a microsoft data analytics now the actual hands on or actual practical of the power bi will start where prepare data for analysis is the second section where we are going to see uh, what are the data uh, you know means there are multi many organizations which generates uh, data uh, means each moment like every moment we gets uh, data generated at different places but using this uh, data is very important and the first step is how we can connect this data uh, to the uh, power bi tool so first step is preparing the data means in this we will see uh, how to shape the initial data how to simplify the data structure and different data types all these things we will uh, do as a part of this prepared data for analysis the second uh, is model data means how, in this we will see how we can design a data model so once we have connected to data uh, we need to identify what are the uh, tables which we need what are the relationship between the tables how they can be joined what are the relationship cardinality and all those things we need to uh, consider uh, identify and apply that in the model so that we will see in this model visualize data in power bi so now once we have identified our uh, data we have connected to the data then uh, we have created a data model Uh, once we have a data model we need to visualize means basically uh, what are the data is there uh, we can create different visuals now when we say visuals visuals are nothing but uh, basically uh, column chart pie chart um, bar chart uh, there are various charts uh, which are available uh, kpi uh, key, key performance indicators that kind all uh, kind of um, visuals we can build so that we can build reports and dashboards so reports is just a, a, a combination of different components or different visuals dashboard is a whole uh, structure where we are combining uh, different reports so that is what uh, we are going to see uh, practically then uh, we are going to uh, somewhat more advanced uh, topics which is a data analyst uh, analysis now in this Uh, we are going to see some of the artificial intelligence intelligence uh, concepts about uh, power bi uh, the capabilities uh, power bi inbuilt uh, it is providing and how we can explore the, uh, that uh, capabilities how we can uh, 
use that capabilities to get more insights uh, from the data. So that we are going to see data and in, in this section of data analysis. Now, the last section will be manage workspace and data sets in Power BI. Now, when we say manage workspace and data uh, sets, now, what are the previous four sections like preparing data, uh, model data, uh, then uh, visualize data, uh, and then uh, data analysis? All this will be somewhere stored. Like we do have uh, different tools. Uh, like there is a Power BI desktop is one tool. Then Power BI uh, service is another tool, uh, which is a cloud application. We can say, and um, these tools consist of workspaces uh, and data sets. So how we can manage? How to uh, Create, uh, deploy from one environment to another environment, that kind of things uh, you can do uh, with this managed workspace and data sets. This is a high level overview of this section. Now we will see uh, different topics which we are going to see. The first part, which is the Microsoft Data Analytics. Uh, so as we see, uh, there are two models in this, uh, discovered data analysis. Now, when we say discovered data analysis, uh, there are say, sections, now we will see uh, what is basically data analysis? Uh, what are the different roles in the data analysis? Uh, then what are the tasks of a data analysis? So this is give you a foundation for the data analyst role. Means you should be able to understand means what is your role as a da uh, data analyst. And the second model uh, will consist of uh, introduction to Power BI. So how to uh, get started with the Power BI? What are the different building blocks or we can say a workflow of the power bi so that we will see uh, we will ex uh, explore and use a power bi service as well uh, this is we are going to see the in this uh, first section now uh, the second section which is our prepared data in this prepared data we will uh, try to see how we can connect to different uh, data sources so now in any organizations whenever the uh, uh, they are running their businesses their data is getting generated at different places means and in different format so it is not just uh, uh, flat files or it's not just excel files it may be some other uh, table 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 formats or it's just a uh, um, unstructured unorganized data so all this we can uh, connect there are number of uh, data sources we we can connect to uh, different different data sources from power bi so uh, we have uh, online services uh, uh, like cloud cloud uh, services, then relational database. And then uh, there are so many things that we will see in the first uh, thing, preparing data. So this is the uh, first model uh, in this prepared data. Second model uh, is uh, whatever the data which we are connecting. Suppose we are connecting it to one of the Excel file. So uh, we should be able to shape the initial data means that is what we need to identify what are the different columns and uh, what are the main columns, What which column we need to keep, which column we need to remove, that kind of cleaning and transformation also we can perform. Uh, uh, data type changes, suppose uh, the data is coming in some uh, character field, but we should be, uh, uh, miss, we should think that this data should be in a number format. So that kind of data formatting uh, changes we need to do in the, uh, this cleaning uh, transform, uh, transform section of this uh, prepared data. We can combine multiple uh, tables into just a single table as per the business need or as per the business data that we will see profiling data is nothing but a, again a quality of data that we need to see that we are going to see uh, then advanced editor which is a m code uh, m language which is again uh, we are going to assume now uh, once we have this uh, prepared data is done then we do have the third model uh, section which we can say model the data that we have identified our data we have connected the data uh, sources uh, database uh, tables or files and then now we are going to design a data model while designing data models we need to work with the tables uh, create data uh, dead tables uh, there are different dimensions fact tables uh, that we are going to see data granularity, relationship, cardinality, different join kinds, means what kind of join joins we can apply. So that we will see. Uh, second model will consist of uh, a DAX uh, section, which is a data analysis uh, expressions, uh, which is nothing but a special functions or a special code we can write uh, to uh, create uh, different functions, uh, aggregated functions in the uh, Power BI. That will be very helpful uh, to uh, uh, to create our visuals so this is we are going to see uh, in detail the third uh, will be optimizations means what are the data base or whatever the 
model which we are creating it should be having a proper uh, like uh, efficient efficient uh, loading means it should not be a very slow uh, it should not take too much time just loading some of the data or it should should be easily accessible that kind of all things which we need to see so what are the ways we can do uh, what are the different uh, techniques which we can use uh, that kind of things which we will uh, use uh, or see as a part of this optimization of the model now the fourth section will be about the visualization data in power bi now once we have created a data model we should be using this data model to create our visuals now when we say visuals so there are different visuals as i said that uh, column chart bar chart uh, line chart uh, stack bar chart there so many visuals that we will see how how they are and how we can use it we will see how to add them in a report uh, what are the different ways to create the effective visualizations how to format that so that it will look good and then there are some custom visuals also we can create our own visuals uh, in terms of writing some scripting code so that we will uh, see the second model uh, model in this uh, section will be the creating a data driven uh, story so we will uh, try to understand what is a data driven story uh, re designing report layout design report navigation uh, then using basic interactions uh, then we will see uh, use advanced interactions and drill through uh, there are various conditional formatting sizing uh, report filters sorting there are so many things in visuals uh, so that we are going to see in detail third model will be creating dashboards and again a dashboard is a combination of different reports and uh, tiles so that is what we are going to see uh, how we can create report how we can configure data alerts then um, how we can apply the dash dashboard theme uh, real time dashboards also we will see data classification so there are so many things in dash dashboards so the, uh, the that we will see in this third model and the last will be uh, last model in this uh, visualization of this uh, visualization data is creating a paginated paginated reports so we need to understand what is paginated report why the need of the paginated reports how we can work with the charts on report and then publishing the uh, reports so uh, this we are going to uh, see and then we are coming to the next section uh, which is uh, data analysis uh, once we have created like uh, we are completing uh, till the visualization we are completing one uh, a cycle we can say preparing a data then uh, we are creating model and the third one is we are creating visual so this is one um, cycle we can say uh, right from the requirement to uh, creating visuals so this is one section is completed but as we go in more advanced and we wanted to create a complicated dashboards at that time we will uh, try to explore this data analysis concept where we will see statistical summary uh, outliers uh, then grouping and uh, uh, there is a, a bin data for analysis clustering techniques uh, time series analysis so these are something which is more advanced and it consists of uh, sometimes something which is related to a data science science kind of things as well which will be very helpful uh, to create our uh, difficult uh, dashboards or complicated we can say the second model will consist of the work with the ai uh, artificial intelligence uh, visuals in power bi uh, there is a um, question and answer uh, visual which we can use uh, which we where we can ask our questions in a na natural language and power bi provide uh, the visuals uh, based on our questions uh, so that that is happening internally that is a capability of a power bi instead of creating our own uh, developing our visuals uh, power bi can also suggest uh, some of the visuals uh, by default as well so th that we are going to uh, see now the last section uh, of all these things uh, is about the managing workspaces and data sets now all this consists of uh, reports dashboards models and then work uh, so all these will be stored in a workspace so in this uh, we need to understand means how we can distribute these reports or dashboards to the different users uh, how we can share or how we can collaborate the reports and dashboards to uh, different different users uh, work with other developers as well so that is the collaboration means uh, multiple people can work on a dashboard so that is also possible with this uh, we need to understand the 
performance we need to monitor the dashboard uh, usage as well how it is used which dashboards are taking to uh, more time uh, to load uh, where it, uh, the time is um, getting consumed more that kind of things wherever possible we can tune the dashboards um, and uh, reports uh, so that will be helpful uh, to manage the workspaces the second model again will have something which is a uh, managing data sets where we will uh, see some of the dynamic reports creation then what if parameters uh, power bi gateway uh, this is another way where we can connect to on premises data sources uh, we can configure data schedule refresh how we can schedule the refresh automatically uh, means uh, when we are connecting to different data sources uh, uh, how we can manage and promote data sets from one environment to other that we will see and the third and last uh, model in this section would be the uh, role level security now what is a role level security uh, basically not all the data in the business should be visible to all the users so there are users who just wanted to see some specific uh, business data only or maybe some of the people uh, just wanted to see all the data but uh, some people from the data sensitivity purpose they should just see restricted data so that kind of security also we can implement and say there, there are two uh, types uh, which is a dynamic method and a static method we will see how to implement this and uh, this is what we are going to uh, see so uh, that was all this uh, course content of this course what i am going to cover and right from the beginning uh, of the data analysis uh, data analyst uh, to uh, the end like end to end uh, we are going to cover as a step by step uh, this course so this is what we are going to cover and i hope uh, you will uh, enjoy this course and if you have any questions you can uh, ask me at any time